You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Infosema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced. How we twirled. Ha ha ha! Oh! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> hey! Enough! I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that! Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is, Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha, a man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, it becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Sitting. That's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village.
you can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Your father. Why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had an app to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree, he was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up.